Okay, here we go, Lake Conroe. True Kit Navigator and uh, an e Propulsion Spirit 1.0 Plus, I guess. And we're just tooling along. A little bit of wind, so we've got a little bit of chop coming up here. Of course, it looks like we're on a bathtub when we're on a video, but you know, you can see some, some chop every second or so. If you want to go quickly, not not the not the setup for you. Um, the true kit is incredibly stable, but if you want to go quickly, you obviously need to have a more traditional outboard. But the e propulsion for us is just the convenience and the lack of maintenance. And you know, tootling along at three to four miles an hour for us is fine. You know, I'm not in a rush to get anywhere quickly. You know, at the moment, it's just if I want to go ashore, if I want to go do some exploring. Um, now, ask me that question if I'm in some significant current, and I might have a different answer, I just don't today. But, it's working well. Felix is back here, kindly. Captaining the vessel. And we have all kinds of stuff on board. We've got, um, We've got a, a life jacket, it's got throwable, inflatable, it's got just uh, signaling, like all the things you should have, you know, the Coast Guard approved boat, right? You can really punch at it. And we have the paddles just in case, even though we have a backup battery, um, just in case the motor goes down for whatever reason, we want to be able to get back in that eventuality, so we have that as well. So we're tooting around, we're kind of um, just north of 1097 Bridge and um, I guess we're kind of heading west uh, into one of the inlets just to see what's around. Um, no sign of any gators or anything yet but we'll keep you posted if you see something. And uh, oh there's something in those trees over there. Man made, not a gator. So it's getting to that time of year. Got the first copperhead snake on the porch the other day, so you know it's kind of that time of year where it's the wildlife is like, oh, hello, what's going on here then? So I don't know if alligators hibernate or not, but snakes do, and they're all kind of coming out. Sometimes you might see some snakes on the, the water. They tend to avoid you as well, though. So anyway, it's a very successful, very successful test run so far.